Hello everyone, thank you for joining me once again. My name is Nick, we're on the ZX Spectrum, and this is Jack the Nipper 2 in Coconut Capers, published by Gremlin Graphics in 87. It's the sequel to Jack the Nipper, which we reviewed, I think about a week or a week or so ago at time of recording. Now the storyline in this one is Jack has been deported and his family to Australia for being naughty in the first game. But uh, as you know, well as you can probably guess, it's pretty obvious, on the way to Australia, uh, Jack jumps out the airplane using his nappy as a parachute and now he's stranded in this, oh dear, in this jungle. Uh, but the same thing again, we have to be as naughty as possible. Let me pick that up and throw it. Right, so uh, his dad will turn up at some point, I'm told, in the instructions there to capture him. But uh, just be as naughty as possible, don't die. There are some tasks and puzzles to solve in this one as we go through. But already I'm loving the graphics, and if you jump into a flame, you're dead. Whoever knew uh, that? So, yeah, see the naughty-ometer down the bottom there? Be as naughty as you can. In the bottom left-hand side is the amount of lives I've got left. It's six, and on the right is the scores, right. It sure looks nice. There's a lot more colour than the first um, Jack the Nipper game, so that's good. Looks like it's more of a platform element too, so it is evolving. Can I go up there? Right. Now, if I don't do very well, I do have a cheat for it's either infinite lives or strength, so you can see a bit of the thing. What's going on? There's a rope. I'm sure we can go up that. It does look quite nice. Now, notice there's no colour clash so far. There was a slight bit there when we went on to that red ledge. When he's flashing like that, that means uh, he's invincible for a certain amount of time. But uh, here's a bit of a disclaimer. If you're a baby, don't jump out of a moving airplane using your nappy as a parachute. Because the likelihood is it won't work. Right, that's me covered. That's a disclaimer done. No one can blame me now for jumping out of a, a plane using a nappy as a parachute. Well done. You've got to cover yourself nowadays. If anyone uh, watching this had this back in the day, then let me know how far you got. But I'm quite liking it so far. No in-game music, but this is the 48K. Uh, it does look like a better game than the first one, although I think it probably is lesser known. Jack the Nimber 2 in Coconut Capers. So grab a coconut, but really, I think if I had this back in the day, it would have just born down to, well, that's nice. It would have just born down to uh, exploring and stuff. And there might be lava along the bottom. Anyway, let's go down this ladder instead. That did look like a little bit like Doomsville. Bump into any of these enemies and you're dead. Are we stuck there? I think this might be a timing thing. I think we may, might need to try and get across there before. Yeah, I can't shoot him because the thing's going into the ceiling. Right, so let's reset this then. I'm sure this will reset. Off we go back in and he should be back to where he was. There he is, right, and then we can get across without um, him causing any trouble. Just about, I think. Whee! Oh, oh no. Ninkum pooping. It worked that way. Anyway. Bum, 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 bum. Do, 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 do. Right, what's that? That's a shield. That's a shield. Right, so we're invincible for a certain amount of time. It's one of these games where you wouldn't uh, like to map, but these reviews are always about how you would have got on with the game in your first or second go. And as a kid, I would have been transfixed with the uh, the colours there, although I'm dying a bit. Um, the music isn't too dissimilar to Nosy Bonk, but it is it is a different tune. Similar, but it is different, I think. Right, pick this up. Oh, we, we started off in a different place there. I'm not sure. My memory's going bad. We might have started off in a different place. That's interesting. Yeah, this looks different. Bom, ba, bom, bom, ba, 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 that take that you and take that you. Now each time we fire, you see my fruit next to that that head in the left there, at the bottom left. Just move along. You see that green fruit that depletes ever so slightly whenever we launch a bit of fruit. What's that arrow there? Oh, that's no good. I got killed by an arrow. Shoot that golden arrow. Do 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 do. That's it. Good. Now we can get other bits of fruit. Oh, interesting. A couple of crocodiles. Or what are they? I don't think they are crocodiles. Are they? They're mean dudes. Can shoot them when we get right. But it's probably best to go up this rope. That seemed like uh, an easier way to go. Oh, look at that elephant with the glasses. Now there wasn't a Jack the Nipper free. Uh, I know about. I uh, don't know about. Um, if oh, it's interesting. If you are an elephant in glasses, comment below. What's this? Oh, great! This reminds me. Oh, this is good. This reminds me of that bit in Roller Coaster. Check out that review if you haven't already. Where it's a bit like this. I don't think I can get out there. His head's wobbling about. Look at this baby. I mean, if you parachute into a random bit of the jungle, the likelihood you'll see anything a remote. You'll probably be just stuck somewhere. Now, it looks like a bar of chocolate there. What is that? Can we? Well, it's an object, so we can take that somewhere, no doubt, to solve stuff. Hasn't been modded this game at all, as far as I'm aware by anyone, but it looks like it could be. 
it's like the sort of one you could you could break into. Slight colour clash as he goes up the ladder there in white, but not to a horrendous degree. It's nothing to the, uh, the the scale of Three Weeks in Paradise by Microgen. Here comes that elephant. He likes jumping down. He's going to get us, is he? No, we avoided him. So it's always good when you get avoided, flattened by an elephant with glasses. I don't think elephants live in the jungle, do they? What elephant lives in the jungle? We're getting in the way. Now this is more sophisticated than the roping jet set, Willy. That's for sure. Can we get on this? Oh, oh. it looks like it's, it looks like it's harder to get on as well. Da, 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 da. Oh, we're sinking. The baby can't swim. It's not like that baby on the Nirvana um, uh, album cover. Was it Nirvana or Radiohead? I think it's Nirvana. Oh, God. So it's all about getting to the next screen here, I think. You've got to get on that red bit. But let's go back the way we came. Maybe we can get up across the top there when that elephant come buzzes off. Doesn't matter. He's out the way anyway. So as long as I jump across. Oh, I died. How did I die there? That's interesting. Oh, snakes in hot pursuit. After the baby, there's a triffid. Looks like we're stuck here. Right, use your invincibility quick, baby. We've only got two lives left. Looks like we killed that thing. Now, I hope this isn't a dead end. Across the top is some sort of parrot and a scorpion. Um, another flower triffid thing. Boof. He's boofed out of existence. Can we go up this slope? I presume not. No. We just slide down. That's a good slidey, good slidey graphic. There's a hippo, again with goggles on. There's some good enemies in this game. Oh, shouldn't have done that because it's just made the triffid... Oh. Whenever you kill something, if you go off the screen and back on again, it resets it and it regenerates the thing straight away. Come on, get over the thing. Yes, yes. Right, just go up this time and don't return back to the screen because that's a silly thing to do. Oh, what? If you're liking the channel, please consider subscribing because it uh, helps the channel grow. And there's memberships as well, which helps it massively if I ever want to take this to a full-time concern. If I ever take it to a full-time concern, there'll be, well, a more variety of videos in terms of uh, future stuff as well, or modern day stuff and the old as well, but as much as I can do. I'd like to do more vlog type stuff, but there you go. Game over, game over, over. It ain't over, baby, till it's over. Let's see if I can get a, uh, a poke to work. I might not be able to. Right, here we go. We'll soon find out. Look, you start off in a random position each time. This is really clever, this game. Uh, kids are not going to get bored. They know they're going to start in a random place. Interesting. We start on a random bit of the map. Right, that, that's it for our hour. Looks like something to pick up over this side, maybe. We can get to that. What's that? Don't look like I, oh, I picked it up anyway. Don't know what it was. Possibly strength. Our naughty, our naughty meter isn't going up a great deal. So we're not being naughty enough, folks. A naughty, how, how can a baby be naughty in the jungle, anyway? It's like Jungle Book, but like a, a, um, a naughty version. Now I'm the king of swingers, yo, a jungle VIP. I've reached the top and I gotta stop because something's bothering me. I won't sing any more of that, yes I will. I wanna be your man, come walk right into town. That's enough of that. I'm available for pantomime or films if if you want me. Oh, the baby's been killed by a snake, that'll teach me. Oh, ooh, 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 I wanna be like you, ooh, ooh, shoopy doo da ba. I wanna learn to be human too. Come on, baby, let's get out of here. Groove it, baby. Oh, look, I've only got six lives left. That's, that's a lot of lives. That's more than you normally get in the real world. I, I don't think I can get through here. Oh, the merest of merest of pixels and you hit. Uh, this bloke, um, yeah. Oh, oh, I killed him. That was a bit lucky. Let's go this way. We're the king of the babies. What's that? Gree. What's that mean? That man was white, first of all, but he hit the gree and turned green. Right, that's him doomed. Don't know what that does, but if you take it somewhere, this looks like it might be a dead end this way. Um, right. Is it a dead end? Come on, baby, come on. No, dead end. Dead end in this jungle tomb of, I don't know, it's either the Aztecs or uh, the High Techs or the Artex. One of the techs. It's a tech company. I do like as well, uh, this happened in the first game, when Jack is idle, you're not moving, he will start look around the place, so there's a bit of, bit of life to the character. It's, a, it's an interesting uh, graphic, 87, 
uh, it's okay, it's still in the Spectrum's run as well. I would have been pleased with this back in the day. I would have liked it. I would have preferred it to the first game, which was considered a classic. You don't hear much about Jack the Nipper 2. Possibly because he keeps jumping into flames. If this is the middle of the jungle, who put those flame torches up? None of these animals. Maybe it's some of the tribesmen. Boof! And this owl bat thing. There's, the animals like wearing glasses here, so there's obviously a glasses salesman somewhere. The future's so bright, we've got to wear shades. There's another rope. Swing them backward and forward. And we've fallen down. Oh, you can't fall a great distance or you're doomed. Come on, let's get on the thing. We're on it. And we're over there. Right, great stuff. Some owl might cause a problem, but it won't now because we've killed it. Who's that guy? I think, we just, I think we just landed on that guy hanging from the vine there, I think. Yeah. Who is that? It's Tarzan, but he's he's dead still. I think we I think we're sort of like trapped here. I don't think we can get anywhere else. Yeah, you can't drop down the rope. As soon as you touch that Tarzan man, you're dead. As soon as you hit the water, you're dead. Oh, that's that. Bom 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 bom. It's quite a good fun game. I, I wouldn't have missed it if someone had stolen it off me back in the day. But it's nice, good fun, a good game, good graphics, good sound. It's got it's got a good theme as well. But when it comes to jungles, I prefer Saber Wolf. But that's uh, maybe an unfair comparison. So I hope you like having a look at that one. That was Jack the Nipper 2 in Coconut Capers, published by Gremlin Graphics in 1987. If you've got any comments about this game, similar ones, or uh, anything, then please put that below. You're always more than welcome. Don't use uh, a nappy as a parachute. That just won't work we've established that i'm covered until next time take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye goodbye